Welcome to another video by Kilio Cory's Fish Room. Today we are going to talk about vinegar eels and how to culture them. Vinegar eels are a small nematode worm that are commonly found in unpasteurized vinegar. Um, they are a good food source for newly hatched fry, especially if your fry is too small to take baby brine shrimp from day one. They also swim in the water column and on the water surface, so they are beneficial food for fry that like to hang around close to the surface and in the water column. Here we have two jars. The one on the left is the established culture and the one on the right is just pure apple cider vinegar. And that's basically what we use to culture the uh, vinegar eels. So looking at the established culture, it looks a bit cloudy. Hopefully you can see the little worms wiggling and swimming in the culture. It's quite straightforward to culture the vinegar eels using apple cider vinegar. So um, we just buy any old brand apple cider vinegar from the shops. And when you compare the colors of the two bottles with the pure vinegar, apple cider vinegar on the right and the established culture on the left, and you can see how the color of the culture changes as your culture is developed and crawling with um, vinegar eels. So to start a new culture I like to use 50% apple cider vinegar and 50% water and I'm just going to use this funnel to put aged water to start this new culture. Um, Different people use different proportions. You know, I heard people using even as low as 20% apple cider vinegar and 80% water. I find 50%, 50-50 works really well for me, so that's what I use. Um, also, some people suggest putting small pieces of apple and or sugar in the culture to get the culture going. Um, I find personally that's not really necessary um, because the cultures just go with just 50% water and 50% apple cider vinegar. And to start a new culture, all you have to do is get some vinegar eels from your established culture into the new culture and just two little pipettes worth is more than enough and the new culture is set up ready to go and i like to use um, filter wool at the um top of the cultures to prevent um, fruit flies and other bugs to go in the culture sort of to keep things away and also dust and etc don't settle in the culture so making a new plug with filter wool for the new culture and this culture is now all set and after a few weeks there'll be thousands tada, thousands of um vinegar eels, if not millions, in that culture. So we're going to now get some vinegar eels out of the established culture. And as you can see, established culture, again, the color is different. There's basically the whole volume of the liquid has vinegar eels in. There are a number of ways to get the vinegar eels out. Some people pour the contents through a coffee filter and etc. We find that very messy. So what we like to do is use a small um, bottle, long neck bottle, use a filter wool 
to create a plug and um, this way we are able to get the vinegar reels crawl through the filter wall plug into a clear part of the liquid obviously because we are culturing the vinegar reels in vinegar it's an acidic um, culture so you don't really want to pour that in directly into your tanks because no matter um, how little you put over time you could um, make your pH drop in your tank so by putting this plug in so uh, making the filter wall touch the culture and the key here is to make sure that the filter wall is actually touching the sides the all the way through and this is the important part and then I put clear aged water at the top and what's going to happen is filter wool is actually going to keep or severely reduce the mixing of the vinegar solution underneath and the water at the top and over time what happens the vinegar eels because they like to swim to the surface as well they will crawl through the filter wool and start going into the aged water part of the bottle and here hopefully you can see vinegar reels in this bottle and hoping relatively quickly we're going to have the vinegar reels migrate to the top where we can actually use the water to feed the fry so here you can see the vinegar reels hopefully in the culture container and they travel through the filter wall to the surface and here in the aged water section you can hopefully see the vinegar reels wiggling in through the water and now this top part is ready to feed the fish again the filter wool allows for vinegar reels to pass through this could take a number of hours to half a day to a day um, so what I do is I just set this um, at night and by morning or I set it up in the morning by the time I come home from work I have vinegar reels in the top section to feed the fry and like we mentioned the vinegar reels because they hang around in the water column and on the surface they are really good food choice for rainbow fish blue eyes um, tetra species danios um, live berries any other fish that you might breed um, of course we use vinegar reels for our killies as well when you put the vinegar reels in the aquarium water they continue to live for a long time so the fry have access to live food anytime they are hungry and then all we need to do is use a pipette to draw water out from the top section getting mostly just water and the vinegar reels and starting to feed the fry and using the pipette makes it very easy to feed the fry 
and another important detail is to just to make sure that we are not t making the pipette touch the filter wall so you don't want to accidentally draw the apple cider solution down the bottom through the filter wall you just want the eels to crawl from the culture below to the clear water at the top and then we can feed the um, vinegar eels in the water to the fry tanks so culturing vinegar eels is very simple all you need to do is find a culture starter from a friend or purchase it uh, local aquarium societies are a good way to find them but um, they are also available online great little live food vinegar eels just makes fry raising easy and just to emphasize again feeding live foods to your fry are a better option because they are less likely to pollute your small tanks and the vinegar eels will continue to li live in the water until the fry get them obviously because of the way they swim vinegar eels are not that great for uh, catfish like corridoras who like to hang out on the bottom but they'll still be able to get some of them but for catfish we do use microworms instead of vinegar eels all our other fish do get microworms vinegar eels and baby brine shrimp a great little live food easy to culture and makes fry raising easy hope you enjoyed watching this video by kilio Corey's fish room